Okay guys, so day one of the rebuild on this Honda CRT50R. So we're going to rebuild this for a friend. So we really don't know what the plan is. We're just going to tear into it and see what the damage is and then see what he wants to do. So we'll take you along for the ride. Uh, I'll probably just do a time lapse of us doing this. There's nothing, we're not going to be using the case splitting tool because as you can tell, it's already been kind of, the bolts have been taken out here, through here. It's kind of already separating. And the second reason why is the crank is shot. So we don't care if that gets damaged. And also there's a hole straight through the case. So we're getting new cases. So we're just going to take it out um, and not really worry too much about damaging the cases or the uh, crank. So here we go. Well, that was fast. So we got the cases split. This looks like it's the left side and that's the right side. The uh, bearings and everything look pretty good in them. The transmission looks good. There's, I don't know if you can see, yeah, there's no, it spins through all of them. I'm not seeing any missing teeth. The uh, shifting drum seems to be doing just fine. So that's neutral right there. And then that's first. Yeah, there's second. Oh, it went back into there's second. Is that neutral? I don't know. Anyways. So yeah, that's good news. Yeah, we'll try to get the uh crank out. All right, so we got the cases split, the crank out. Um, over there, we'll be over there in a second. But um, this is mainly for the guy that we're rebuilding it for. Um, anyways, the bearings feel pretty good. Uh, we could totally get away with reusing them if we wanted to. Um, if, yeah, even the, the crank bearings, this one's a little, I mean, it's not gritty, but maybe it's just because I can't get a good grip on it to twist it but that one's pretty good all the rest of them though if I get a better fat hand there we go that one twists good this is where the gear drum goes so the bearings look good so we, get, we could get away with using them I think the reason why we can is because you can see right here where the crank this is the crank here where it broke it just shot and just blew out the case real quick. So there wasn't much damage. Didn't have time to circulate that damaged material through the engine. So it just kind of, everything shot out through the bottom. But in case you're wondering, it is a Wiseco. Uh-oh, Wiseco. And it looks like it's just the material was too brittle. It just kind of broke off, focus. So the options are, and the reason why I'm saying this is because um, the guy I'm building the video for, or building the bike for is gonna be watching the video. So the options are um, we can get a whole new crank, crank assembly, 
and put it in and those usually come with these bearings and we'll get new crank bearings. We can reuse the old bearings. Um, another option that might be is to, the crank looks pretty good. We could get away with just getting this, uh, what's this, rod? Getting a new rod and getting it retrued up, the counterbalance on this thing and re-putting it in. Except not using a wise co, we'd probably go with hot rods. Um, so those are options or the option that uh, I think would probably be I mean, it'd be the most expensive, but would be the overall best. That way you don't have to worry about it is they have complete bottom end kits. And what that does is it comes with this um, crank assembly and it comes with all new bearings for the complete bottom end. So the good thing about doing those is peace of mind. You know, your whole bottom end is redone. And most people go that route anyways because it's such a pain to get down in here. Might as well do it while you're here. So those are the three options. So a whole new bottom end kit that just replaces everything. We could get a new crank that comes with new bearings, crank bearings, or we could do um, a new rod and just replace the rod and reuse all the bearings. So anyways, that's what we're thinking.